showing you, okay, that's Distress Ink, Frayed Burlap, just in case you were curious, sort of came and went really quickly, didn't it? Okay, so I'm doing a 12 by 12 layout today. I am using the Flower Shop Collection by Kay's Craft. The papers specifically that I'm using are Garden Path, Garden Path, um, Sunroom, and, and Conservatory. Now, I've gone around the edges of my major pieces with the fray, Distress Ink Frayed Burlap, um, just, to, just to give it a bit of extra definition. Now, I was planning on sewing these down, and then I had a little bit of a change of mind. So that's why they're not very, well, they don't look like they're glued down very well. But trust me, that art glitter glue is going nowhere. It'll be there forever now. Okay. Now, zoom over to my die cutting machine. So these are new to me. Um, they're... Sizzix Thinlets, there's four dies in there. I will link them below. The number is 664178. That's all I can find on here. There's no title or name or anything. Um, and what I'm showing you there to the left is called Quick Release Die Paper. If you have an intricate die, best bit of advice I could give you today. If you have intricate dies, whether they're doilies, whether they're you know, any sort of fine anything, use that stuff. It's brilliant. You put it in between the die and the cardstock that you're cutting out on, or paper or whatever colour, whatever it is you're cutting out, and it, it allows it to release. It's kind of like baking paper, but way more slick. So it works a treat, and that's why I left it just sitting to the left there so you could have a look at it while I was doing this bit. Now don't look at my <laughs> don't look at my banana shaped perspex bit. It's it's okay. I'll admit you want to have a little chuckle. When I first got my die cutting machine, I went through all the processes. I watched everything. I learnt what I had to. It's I mean it's literally written there in black and white, and I did not know. When you get your plates, you're supposed to move the dot different dies as you're using. Oh, there it is. See, little rolls of it. Um, it was literally it was three dollars ninety nine, I think it was, for ten meters of this quick release paper. Um, super inexpensive because I'm all about the inexpensive. Now, what was I saying? Um, Oh no, I've lost my train of thought. Uh-oh. Okay, this happens to me a little... More often than I'd like to admit. I don't know. Let's move on to the next best bit. Something that no one has told me. Or I haven't seen anywhere. I don't know whether people just don't like saying the obvious. I don't know. But I... When I cut these out, I realized that the very, very ends don't cut. So you can line it up twice on like a 12 inch long piece of material. And then bingo, you just cut the middle piece. And I show you here, I think I show you up close. See there, it doesn't actually cut that little tiny bit. So you just cut either side of it and Bingo, you've got yourself 12, well, for me I did a 12 inch piece and it worked perfectly. Um, and that way you can have, uh, I'm going on a tangent, but honestly I did not know that you could literally make them 12 inch, you could go 18 inches if you had a piece of paper that long, like it would, it works, it's great. I know where I was going. Squirrel, come back. Okay, so I didn't know you're supposed to move the dies all over and you're supposed to flip over your perspex thing. So each time you're putting them through, you're basically putting pressure on a different part of the plastic. 
call me stupid. I didn't know that. So these are actually my original plates that I've got there. I have bought some new ones, but I'm using these ones until they're dead because somebody said to me um, that they don't keep using them basically until they crack. Um, and it still works, so it just looks awful. <laughs> uh, oh, well, get that on the big jobs. So I just use my T-square ruler here to level it up at the top and I'm still loving my tape runner by the way guys still loving it it's small enough that I can control it even on a bad hand day today's a really bad hand day so hopefully yesterday wasn't great either but that's okay anyone with rheumatoid arthritis anyone with fibromyalgia I'm your girl I've got it too all right, so I just go around the very edge of my die cutted, my, my die cutted, gee, that was good English, my die cut piece, just to give it a little bit of a shadow. I didn't want to, I wanted to make this one not about inks, not about, I wanted to just make it pretty. Now, this is a little bit of a chuckle for you. <laughs> This dog that is in this picture, she is cutest little thing. She's a little chihuahua um, and she's a little chocolate chihuahua. And she, well, she's pretty great now. But um, she came to us after several years of life and she came into our, our little home. We gave her a forever home, even though that meant we ended up with a lot of dogs but that's okay um, and she is you know I mean this in the most endearing way you know when something is so ugly it's cute when she comes up to you and she waggles and she sort of crabs she crabs towards you and she smiles and her bottom jaw sticks out a little bit further and she lifts oh honestly it's adorable it's so ugly it's cute it's so cute she's beautiful we love our we love our dorothy she's just beautiful we call her dory for short she has a memory like dory too dory the fish pretty funny but yes so try not to get my head in the view here but i'm still trying to work out if i can pull my camera if i can get my camera somehow i think i need a longer arm on it Okay, these leaves are leftovers from when I cut out the other day. See, I just bent them a little bit. I cut these out the other day. I got I bought a cut file from MK Gun and her in her Etsy shop. I'll link it in the description. These there was all these leaves, all these different types of leaves. Now I've already used some of them and I used some ink and I coloured them. And they looked amazing but on this page I wanted them to have almost like a transparent they're there but they're not there they're there but I wanted this whole layout to be literally about the photo so I'm just showing you how to add texture add depth all of those bits and pieces but not with blocks of color if that makes sense so what I actually did with these, these cut file, these leaves, is I, I backed them with, yes, my tried and true, tracing paper. I actually use tracing paper for, for the reason, see how I just bent that leaf and it stayed like a banana because tracing paper is a little stiffer than vellum, if that makes sense. Yeah, that, yeah, that's how I'd describe it. It's stiffer. It holds it holds its form a little bit better. So now what you see me doing here, yes, I put glue on my hand. Weird, right? This glue dries so quickly. I stuff this up. Seriously, watch how badly I put these leaves down. 
I moved everything out of the way and I shouldn't have. I should have left it there. You live and learn, right? Live and learn. So I ended up coming in with some other leaves and that that fixed it in the end. But I, I wasn't ha I'm happy with the effect and I will definitely try it again. But I won't move them because that's what I did. That was my mistake. And that's a video editing thing. This is something that I'm learning. I'm a newbie at this. I'm learning that what you would do in normal life, just watching tutorials and scrapping in your own room or whatever, on your kitchen table, on your floor, wherever you're doing it, that versus making it educational so people can follow you step by step as to what they, how you put it together so they can copy it. Um... Oh, look, two totally different animals. It really is. I'm I'm getting better at it. I think I'm getting better at it. And yeah. So okay. What do I do now? Actually, you know what? I might even just do my shameless plug now while I'm watching myself torture these leaves. By the way, the, the bent leaves, the ones that I, I curved a little bit, they've stayed upright. So if you want to see the photos, pop over to my Instagram and you, I'll put the photos up there so you can see them. I'm still working on getting all my social media posts to all line up with each other. Hey, it's a progress. I'm working on this. I'll get there. Right. So, what else? I'll do my shameless plug. Okay, so if you've stuck around this long, listen to my waffle. I would love nothing more than if you guys would subscribe um, to my channel so that my channel, the algorithm sends me out to other people so other people can come and learn some basic techniques and some not so basic techniques. And I'm trying to do a video every other day. And sometimes I'll get one up every day. If they're basic pages like this one, I can do one a day. But sometimes I like to go a little bit more technical. Like some of the ones from last week. I had a video last week. Oh my goodness. Over 900 views. That was amazing. I was absolutely blown away. Blown away. I'm so elated to have the subscribers that I do have. I'm so glad. Oh, see this sweet? Does anyone, has anyone else had this problem? These, this is the lovely collection, thickers. The S looked like it was upside down. I took it out of the pack, the way it, I flipped it, and I think it looks much better. So, I always do my journaling, or I try and do my journaling after I video and photo everything, only because the journaling's the personal bit. Now, I did want to put, I don't know why I didn't use enamel dots, okay, I don't know why. I should have, but I didn't. Instead, I used my ink. It's just gold ink. I got it from Officeworks. Works beautifully. And I used the opposite end of my paintbrush. And just to get a nice circle. But I wanted, I didn't, I didn't want to splatter because I wanted it to be exactly where I wanted it to land. And we all know when you splatter, it goes where it wants to go. I didn't want lots of fine dots. I just wanted a couple. As I said, I should have just used enamel dots, right? Would have made more sense. But anyway, like and subscribe. That would be amazing. Follow me on Instagram. Pop over to my Facebook. And I will bring you another video later today, if not tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you.
Bye.